Okay, so hey guys, it's me Felicia and today we're back for a sketchbook tour. So let me start off by telling you the details of my sketchbook. So as you might notice, this is basically the same sketchbook as my last sketchbook tour, I believe. I had more or less the same one, but in blue. And it's a Moleskine sketchbook, I'm not sure if you can see it. But would I buy it again? No, because it did not hold watercolor very well. You'll be seeing that in this video, don't worry. So it's an A4 size, so a fairly big boy. And on the cover I had a couple of stickers. So this is by Ectomorph, a French illustrator that I follow. This was actually just a cutout drawing uh, that I received with my order from Frannard. So I just put tape on it so that I can stick to my sketchbook. And this was the same thing, a cutout drawing by Ectomorph as well. The tape doesn't look amazing, but let's just not talk about that. So let's start the sketchbook tour. So first page is a brief explanation of who I am. I have my name, my old Instagram handle. It used to be Feliciel underscore drawing, but now it's Feliciel underscore ink. Um, I also have always the date where I start and when I finish the sketchbook because I find that very important to be able to track the progress over time. So this was from December 2020 to November 2021. So it took a long ass time to finish, um, basically a year. Normally go through a sketchbook in like six to eight months, but in December 2020 I was still in art school and they weren't a huge fan of sketchbooks and so I couldn't really like keep up with it. So first page is a study of horses. I wanted to try a little more stylized version of it, which I actually like a lot. Um, some weird postures to see like the line of action and everything. Um, and a face of a horse that I am not a huge fan of. But that's how you learn. And then on this page, I actually really love it. This was a study I did for my class where we were doing um, value studies in like pencil. So it would be using cross hatching, etc. And we only did like the top half and then the bottom was just blank so that we could still, you know, practice the anatomy. And I'm really, really proud of that one. So then we did another exercise, which was value studies as well, uh, but this time of a full character that did the entire A4 paper. But I had a hard time showing that while the shirt was itself darker than the pants, for example. Um, and so it made everything look a little bit too muddy and confusing. And now that I see it, I can actually notice that I forgot to shade like an entire hand. So then we did some portrait studies with this fabulous mustache man, which I am a big fan of. Um, some other person. And then I wanted to do one last portrait where I could have a bit more fun with my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. So over here we have this very cute uh, character that I did that I wanted to really see like how I could stylize things. The watercolor in here actually looks not that bad, but I know that if I tried to build up too much color, the paper would basically start to peel. Uh, and that's never a good thing to happen. Then I wanted to continue exploring things with um, stylizing because I find that it's a very important thing to do as well, is to see how you can stylize things. I then started to try and draw a hand here and never finished it because I'm guessing I did it a couple of times and then realized I could not do this hand and just abandoned. Then over here, you can't really see it that well on the camera, but these are um, studies of like random pictures I saw online of people. We were supposed to do that for our semestral project, and normally it was to actually go out and draw people, but we were in a full-blown lockdown, so we decided to actually use reference pictures for these. And I'm actually super happy with how these turned out, especially this one, because the folds of the fabric are actually like really nice on this. Then I decided to continue having fun, where I did this exercise where you actually draw a simple shape and you fill it in with like a character. So I did three of these with like rectangles. So I have this man with a big beard 
this lady with her huge glasses and another guy with a top hat. I'm a lot less of a fan of the last one because I can see that I was trying to just fill it up for the sake of it and that I didn't really like try and think out things before doing it. Then I wanted to try out my colored pencils in a stylized way as always um, to see where I could like add some different colors to some places. So the lips have a bit of purple and blue. There's also some green here for indicating a shadow, etc. And then here I wanted to have fun with some gouache. I am still struggling with gouache today, but I really, really want to learn it. So, you know, you can know everything from the very beginning. And then I was tired of always drawing like basically skinny people with my school. So I decided to have fun drawing a uh, more curvy woman that I saw on my TikTok and I thought that looked so beautiful. So here is a drawing of her because you should also learn how to draw people that are not necessarily skinny. Then this was starting to see how to draw heads with like the right anatomy and proportions with different like directions you're looking at. So for this one, I actually wanted to do a value study that had a little bit more spice. So I asked for my boyfriend to just like stand there and I went to go grab a chair to be able to take a picture from like a pie so that there'd be a bit more like fun to it where it's not just like a boring straight value study from up straight. And I do think that I kind of nailed the pants on this one with the values. So I'm pat on the back. So then I did a little like fan art of a couple of Miyazaki movies and Studio Ghibli that I really love. So there's Howl's Moving Castle, Mononoke Castle in the Sky, I believe. The Cat Bus from Totoro, um, Kiki's Delivery Service, Nausicaa. So then we were continuing to do uh, the portrait studies. So I did one here. I did a more fun one with my colored pencil. Um, this was actually a photo that I thought looked really cool that I found on Pinterest of a guy lighting his cigarette up with a birthday cake candle. Now that I see it, I should like digitalize it and color it and it would be really cool. So then we continued with this time values with the face. And I really struggled with this one to get the right like angle that the reference had. Then we continued the studies of like eyes, ears, nose, mouth. I really hate this nose and I'm not a huge fan of this mouth, um, but I really like these eyes. And I learned that the iris is 50% of like the eye, like the, the white of the eye. Then over here, I drew some cows. So there was a small fluffy cow that was super cute and one that had its tongue basically sticking in its nose. Um, I actually made a digital drawing out of this, which was kind of like a tattoo flash. Um, I even made a print of it and gave it to my parents because my mom was obsessed with it. And then this was actually supposed to be a sticker and I should continue working on that now that I see it, of a flower and it's like a face in the middle. Um, but it looked super cute and I thought that there would be something interesting to do with it. And then some random flowers to fill in the space. Some more portraits. This is the face of a child, like a baby. And then this is actually something I made a TikTok of. And it was this girl that had this amazing car with like leaves and flowers inside. And I thought that that looked super cute and I had to make a drawing out of it. Um, so that's what I did here. I think I used watercolors and then on top added some colored pencil to add some extra stuff. Then another video I found on TikTok, this is going to be a recurring thing, of a girl riding a cow and I thought that that looked so fucking cool. Now that I see it, it might not be a cow because it has like huge ass horns, but you know what I mean. And I used watercolors for this and a Pentel pocket brush for the line art. And what I mean with the watercolor not really reacting well to the paper is that it's super patchy and the colors aren't as vibrant as I'd want them to be. Then we have some random girls skating, my cat Rakoda, 
Um, and over here, it's a girl eating a hamburger that I did with my colored pencils. And this time I really tried using the colored pencil to make the entire color, not just random touches of highlights or shadows. Then this was a little drawing I did on some random paper that decided to stick in it because I really liked it. Um, and I really like sticking things in my sketchbook because it adds a little bit more um, texture and like, well here it's like pink so it brings your eye to it. I don't know, I just find that it makes sketchbooks more interesting and personal. And it's a Pierrot, so like, you know, like those sad clowns. So this was actually a gouache study because I wanted to continue learning gouache because I follow this artist on Instagram that does like Victorian era or like 1920s or etc type of drawings of people from these times and they always look like so cool. So I don't remember, either it was a draw this in your style that she did or it might have been like seeing her Pinterest with her references and I wanted to give it a try to see how I can mimic her style in a way by using gouache. And then over here was a first attempt at a comic ever uh, because I thought that that's something I should really try and explore a little bit because it's basically how can you tell a story with just like an A4 page here uh, where there's like different things. So this was about how can I make myself feel better when there's times where like I feel really tired and like empty inside. And I even colored this digitally and um, I think I posted it on Instagram. So this page is very random. There's like a sheep, another sheep, an eye, a person that's like standing there very awkwardly. But on this side, we have a Sir Turtle, which I really, really love. It's actually a drawing I did back in high school and I had this laying around and it was like, you know what, that looks super cool. I have to stick it in. And it's this turtle that's like king of something uh, and has a really cool staff. So yeah. And then I did a drawing of a sphinx cat. Over here, I wanted to illustrate the expression, which was having butterflies in your stomach, of like having literal butterflies in your stomach. And then these were some funky pigeons to draw. Then I did some studies for an assignment I had for art school, uh, which was to create um, a predator and a prey and having them like interact and all so I did like a mix of a vulture and like falcon and then the prey was like some rabbit mouse type of thing I think I'll make a video where I show you like all the assignments I did for my art school because I think that could be like interesting do tell me in the comments. Then some more portraits with like some value study. And this time it was a bit more stylized, not just like straight up realism. Um, and then this was the start of my businessman with anime hair uh, drawing series. I did three of them. I even made like a digital drawing of these. And I should be making stickers now that I have my machine and sticker paper. So stay tuned for that. Then these were some studies of anatomy from the book Morpho, which is an amazing book, strongly recommend it. And these were like some thumbnails for like compositions to do. I'm a big fan of this one. This one's pretty nice too. And the others are like fairly basic. This is the second businessman with anime hair. And then I continued trying to uh, use the reference from that artist I mentioned. Uh, and these were clothes from I think the 1920s that I colored in with a colored pencil and used a ballpoint pen for the line art. I am a huge fan of these. I love how, especially on this one, the silhouette really looks super nice with the clothing uh, and the fabric just dropping down in a very straight way. Then here's just some random stuff. This was clearly just trying to experiment with things. So here's a random dog that I wanted to draw. Kinda looks like Frank and Weenie. Then I decided to draw a couple of people. This is something I'm a huge fan of. Um, it was somebody eating some noodles and I used some watercolors and colored pencil to do the line art. 
This is kind of using the same technique where it's this uh, person eating a pizza that's written eat me. Then here's my boyfriend again. So then I did a couple of animal studies with a monkey, a tiger, and a little cat, and some random blobs of color that I tried to fill in with a ballpoint pen to make a little drawing out of these. These are very fun to do to like warm up and also get out of art block. And my animals, like especially the tiger, now that I look at it, it makes me think a lot of um, Lee Ellickson's style. I don't know why. So then this was a drawing I did on Photoshop and decided to print it so that I could have a copy of that in my sketchbook where it's basically me sitting on my cat Ricota's face. Then this was a self-portrait once I shaved my hair off, a stylized cat and a frog under a leaf to protect it from the rain. So then on that day with Gavin it was really sunny out and we were out of lockdown so we went to this park where there were a bunch of people and I did a couple of studies. Here was a random drawing of this girl and I wanted to practice doing some sheer fabric to see how it could work and not look so bad. And then here is the finalized version of the businessman with anime hair. So if I made stickers out of these, they would be looking more or less like this, but like the cutout would be much better because now I have my silhouette machine. Then these were a couple of digital drawings I did. So there was this guy um, juggling some stuff as he's on a mono wheel. Um, my garden angel, I have a print of this. This was somebody that's like in a bedroom and then this is me cutting my bangs. So then I was wanting to continue practicing different things. Here's just a very quick drawing I did of a kid inside of a dinosaur costume that's made out of cardboard. So this was just a really quick Posca pen sketch. Then I'm a huge fan of this little star guy, um, a little girl in some wings uh, as a costume that's done with watercolors and that actually look really cool. I noticed that in the sketchbook the watercolor looked better when I used colored pencil for line art rather than like a micron pen. Um, I'm not sure why but I really prefer how it looks like in the end. And then just a random study of somebody as well. And I'm actually really liking how this one looks. Then I wanted to get into clowns. So there's this guy in a clown costume with a balloon. And here was a clown costume study. These pages aren't as interesting. Here I was just trying to draw some wolves. Hello, Ricota again. And then I was trying to see how you can use shapes to convey messages through characters. So triangles evokes movement, deviation, sharpness. The more extreme the angles, the more effective it is. Squares show more stability, dependability, discipline, strength, while circles show peace, kindness, softness, safety. These are just like things I jot down so I remember that I read out of books and then I go back with some portrait studies over here I like this one and this was a sketch that I did for then a digital illustration of this mermaid that says no this was actually a fan art of I cannot remember her name in English but it's from this Disney movie I'm pretty sure Bernard et Bianca where it's like those two little mice that try to save this little girl from this evil woman. And then some hand studies. This is a portrait study of this illustrator I follow on Instagram that does really cool things. And I'm really happy with how I managed to do my line weight correctly for this. And then this was a master's painting that I did a sketch of. So then you're gonna see the pages start getting less and less crowded because I just wanted to get it over with basically. Uh, so we have this little chick doing some skateboard, a cat with a little hat and its sunglasses, having some real style over here, a cat that's honestly such a big mood, and then a little chick that has a little leaf hat. 
So then this drawing I did last summer when I was in Corsica with my boyfriend and there's this little tiny island where there's just one building that's just a lighthouse and basically nothing else there so it's just like rocks, grass and everything and it looked really cool and I'm very happy with this drawing. Then I had fun with my Posca pens, um, doing some plants over here, random portrait. Then I wanted to do a catfish, quite literally. I will be making a sticker out of this as well. And then I did the Ellickson, I know it doesn't really look like her that much, and Toady, her dog, because Toady is an icon with his little tongue sticking out and all. These were sketches for my calendar, um, which I only have like two months left to draw, but I will be maybe working on it at some point. Then I wanted to see how I can stylize skulls, um, because if I want to get into tattooing, you need to know how to draw skulls. And I'm a fan of this one and this one. And then I did a little heart as well. Here I talked about having new hair, so that's when I made it red and bleached it. Then I made a digital drawing out of this. Um, and this was a random wizard guy with a hat. I'm not a fan of his hand. Let's just not talk about the hand because I know that it looks super bad. Then I stuck this drawing of a girl that does ballet and did a little study out of it. Um, I did this person with a nice looking suit. Then I wanted to have fun and make like animals that wear clothes, like humanize animals. This was a reference I found off of Pinterest and I'm not a fan of how I drew it, but it was basically like a fish inside of a chewing gum thing. Another fish and a little boy looking at it. Um, some character design stuff. And this, I actually put the handle here, it's Unga Pants. Um, it was this frog that was like with a huge bag of something walking that I thought looked super cool. So I made a study of this and did it in watercolors. Then this is where I actually, I think I found my style for animals because I realized what my issue was with drawing animals was their eyes. So I just found a solution and it's just make two little ovals for their eyes and that's it. And I also really like keeping the lines very simple. Then these were fancy knives might be doing stickers out of them as well, who knows. Do tell me if you're interested if I make stickers to add to my shop so that I'd be selling like really cheap things, like I'd probably be making them for like, I don't know, a euro each if not less. And then some more hand studies. So on this page, there's a couple of things I really like. First, this skull that was again uh, studied from the Morpho book. Um, because I really like just how it looks and like there's the curves and the edges at the right places Then there's this person that I really found that I nailed her face and her hair and the hands Then I did a study of like anatomy of the back and Then there's this guy where I really wanted to see how I could really focus on showing depth in a drawing so he has his feet up on his desk or something and you can see that his like face is tiny compared to his feet but it actually makes sense. Then I continued trying to really experiment with drawing animals with like the little circled eyes. It started off with these, then I moved on to this, then this, then this, then this, then this. And this confirmed that I don't know how to draw eyes for animals. <laughs> and I also did a little portrait over here. And then random ideas that I sketched out. So like the strawberry teapot and a TV, but it's also a teapot. This was a sketch for Inktober, like that I did in advance to think things out and plan it. Um, this is a sphinx cat, some mushroom, 
a tree, like seeing how I can stylize trees because I really want to focus on that as well. And a random portrait. Continuing with anatomy studies, I really like this one as well. This is another sketch for the Inktober. And then random doodles. I think I did these in the library now that I think of it. Because I think this was studied off of Basquiat. And uh, those are from books as well, like where I had reference images. Then I went to the Louvre because I really like going to museums and bringing my sketchbook to draw things out. So I started off with this little baby that's just laying there that I really like. Not that much of a baby, but more of a toddler. Then I did this woman that's like having a really interesting position over here. And there's like a really dynamic pose. And then this random statue that I did directly with a, a pen and that I'm not liking. And then ended up with this little creature thing that kind of looks like a boar. Then I was wondering how I can stylize my character some more. So these are some little tests over here. I really had fun doing like huge eyes on this one because she has like big glasses. And then here was a study um, from, I think, Meunier Lucille, because her art is very cool. So then I just wanted to get this sketchbook over with. This was actually, like, we're getting into, like, very recent things. So, a random portrait study of a person. And then I wanted to just have fun with my watercolors. I did a bit of blobs for making a little cactus. Then I tried drawing my cat, but very roughly. I really wanted to have a minimalist approach for these two. And then I wanted to draw my cat that was sleeping on this chair. And so I drew this, I drew my cat, and then I drew the feet of the chair to realize that it's like perspective is not existing in this. Because since I drew this directly by pen, I couldn't like sketch it out and then ink it because I don't have time for that shit. So then I just drew the chair how it should be and wrote, imagine the cat on it, please, because I was just like, I was pleased with how it was going until I like looked away and looked back at my drawing and was like, oh shit. And then you're going to recognize all of the rest of the drawings normally. So this was the gouache portraits that I did so that I can practice gouache some more and I actually followed a tutorial for this. This was just a Posca pen drawing of this bald person that looked cool, a loish hair study, some perspective like with the environment from this picture, some hands because hands are super cool to draw that are actually like a bit more stylized, this couple's photo taken that I think looks super cute that's like Halloween themed with the pumpkins and then this is the last page uh, with some more animals over here and here um, a sticker that I actually made and some more portraits and that brings the sketchbook to an end I learned so much through this sketchbook like you have no idea um, because I was in art school at the beginning so there are a lot of things that I learned with art school that taught me so much and made me improve and there's also a lot of like personal research into it with like figuring out color and style because that's not something we did at school at all but yeah that's about all that i have to say i hope you enjoyed this sketchbook i already started drawing in this other sketchbook um so stay tuned for that i post art videos every monday at 4 p.m CET Central European time and that's all that I have to say if you like this video you can like it if you like you can also subscribe to this channel and that's about all that I have to say see you next time tschüss